Well, hey everyone. So here we are, Fridays at 3 and 15. If you are watching this later on YouTube, know that I my goal is to do three Young Living products in 15 minutes, yet I do this, I record this on Facebook, so we give about a minute, minute and a half. Um, so you can always just fast forward a little bit and if you're watching later know that um, you know for the replay or whatever let me know if you're watching the replay um, or if you are on live just say hey I'd love to see who watches when and where um, today I've got some pretty cool products to share with you you know each time I research I'm astounded at what our company has and I've been in this company for 12 years, um, yeah, 12 years, and there's so many things that I still get to learn and research. And you know, it's kind of like when you learn something and you teach it, and you go back maybe a couple years later and you relearn something new about it, it's magnificent. Okay, so today we have three things, Femigen, Believe Essential Oil Blend, and Clary Sage Essential Oil. Many people do know about Clary Sage, right? Especially if you have hormones. So if you're human, you probably know about Clary Sage, yet I discovered a couple of things that might be a little bit different. So we're gonna start with Clary Sage. This one um, is obviously, as I mentioned, so incredible for our emotions. And it used to be known, not used to be, well, yeah, I mean, in the Middle Ages, it was also known as Clear Eyes. The Latin name for sage was translated, and when you translate it into English, it's, it's clear. So when you think about it with this oil, it can give you clarity of vision when your emotions are overly stimulated. So Clary Sage is helpful and supportive for mostly female hormones. I have let, not let, I have given a little bit to my kids, all of my kids, boys and girls, just depending on what's going on. But Clary Sage helps with those overly emotional times, particular to PMS and menopausal women. It gives you a healthy attitude during those times. Now, here's the thing, follow me. If you're calling an oil clear eyes or an herb or whatever, Understand that if it is meant to give you a healthy attitude during certain rougher, overly emotional times, it's also going to give you some clarity when you are making decisions during those times. Decisions like having a conversation that might be difficult, deciding to get bangs. I, I joke about it, but it's the truth. I can't tell you how many women I would talk to as a hairdresser, like, I just want bangs. I'm like, okay, what's going on? How long have you been thinking about this? And what's going on? Many times we react, uh, we react in an overly emotional way and do something that later you think, I wish I had waited just a minute or a day or a week or even a month. Clary Sage can help you think clearly. Remember, when you think of clearly, Clary Sage, think clear. So this will also enhance your ability to dream, which that kind of leads me to believe, but let me pause here for a moment. If you are somebody who struggles with um, dreaming, maybe you've had some dreams die, you've had um, just some things that you've been hit with that it's like, I don't even know how to dream anymore, or you maybe have never been able to dream, Clary Sage is going to give you that ability. And so what I would recommend is you put it on at night over your forehead, um, over the nape of your neck, and just breathe it in. Let those dreams come, right, in your sleep. And then journal in the morning about what you thought, what you heard, what you saw in your dreams. That will help to inspire daydreaming, which is so critical as adults. It helps us tap into our calling and our role and our position here while we're on this earth. Okay, so speaking of dreaming, now we have Believe. This is by far one of my most favorite oils, and I hope if you've never used it that you would consider trying it, and then hopefully you too will think it's amazing. It has, it's been reformulated a half, not half a dozen times, I'm totally exaggerating. It's been reformulated quite a bit because some of the oils in Believe have gone in and out of stock. Um, but this particular one, it opens our conscious awareness to our potential to see, um, to see our, excuse me, it opens our awareness so that we can see our own potential. 
Very similar to Clary Sage, if you've lost your ability to dream, right? And you start dreaming again, believe is going to help propel you into that and seeing your potential. And here's the thing, you guys, we all know this. We've all heard studies and, you know, in 2022, we have heard people make commentary about, well, you know, we only use such a small portion of our brain or you hear these stories of people who've had superhuman um, feats that they've done and overcome. And we all know that we're not really running at our full potential. But I believe in our culture and our time where we're at, we just sort of blithely go, well, yeah, I know, I don't, I don't use my full brain, or I don't run as fast as I could, or I don't get as much done in the day, and we really don't think anything of it. Yet, believe is going to open up that subconscious portion of our mind and our brain and tap into maybe the why, why we're holding ourselves back, right? And why we are not choosing to step into our full potential, our fullest expression of who God made us to be. So when you think about believe in that sense, it's pretty powerful. You know, when I first was introduced, it's like, oh, believe, you know, you'll be able to believe for your dreams. It's so much richer and deeper than that. This will help also. So here's something that I really want to camp on for a few minutes and take some notes if you um, are not doing so already. But believe will help release the emotions of despair and inadequacy, which are oftentimes stored in the lungs. Now, that's not to say that those negative emotions can't be stored elsewhere in the body, but typically, when you do studies and over and over, the norm is that is set, settled in the lung. A lot of negative emotions actually do settle a lot in our lungs and in our stomach. Um, some people tend to hold them in their back, but this, you know, your torso area is like a magnet for negative emotions for a lot of people, a majority of people. So think about despair, not in a, let's ponder it, <laughs> excuse me, but just think about that word. And we've all been in despairing times. I mean, it's just, you live here on this planet long enough, you're going to go, oh, I, you know, you get a flat tire on the road or something there, you know, something Young Living's out of your favorite product. There, There's a little inkling of despair that comes in. And some of us have felt it in such great, um, almost paralyzing ways. So if you think about that and how that emotion tries to land. So for example, if you have ever felt in a feeling of despair, look, I just did it, you might exhale. It's just that, and my little bulldog who hangs out with me just did the same thing. It's weird, totally um, entangled right there. But if we, we feel that feeling, it's like, and you just sort of sink back and your shoulders drop, like slump, not in a drop and you're relaxed, but just sort of like I can give up mode. We have a need to breathe because we just exhaled and yet when you are in a position of despair, it's hard to take in that deep breath. Inadequacy tends to follow and be a bedfellow with despair at times, not always, but at times. So when you are using oil like believe as you are experiencing, now and let's please let's choose our words. When we don't have these emotions, we experience them. There's a huge difference. So when you use believe, when you're experiencing an emotion such as despair, you breathe it in like this and then have a little bit on your other hand and put it on your chest, right? So we're doing this. You have it under your shirt or whatever. And you breathe it in. And purposely, intentionally choose to release that emotion of despair. This is not... Um, only to that particular emotion, by the way, because we've talked about, if you've hung around and camped out in our emotion classes for a while, you know, we talk about all manner of negative emotions and how to get rid of them. The idea too, is when you know what the negative emotion is, you just consciously with intention say, I choose to release this. You have no place on me, in me, through me, expressing yourself around me. We're done. And you get really militant and indignant with those negative emotions, they find you become slippery to them and there's no place for them to stay, right? So with believe and you're walking in to get rid of and forever be done with despair and even inadequacy, you breathe it in and then you welcome in stability, stability to your emotions that will restore your hope and your desire.
You might even pair believe with an oil like hope or joy, whatever you are needing to replace. You only you know, right? All We have all these myriad of emotions and ways that we express love and fear, the two you know, platforms of emotions, but you yourself would know what would be ideal at that point, okay? All right, so the next thing is Femigen. Now this one is, has been a bit of a mystery to me, so I've really enjoyed this week studying it and learning a little bit more about it. It is a strong supplement as far as hormones go, but it's not as strong as Endogize, which we will speak about next week. So I hope if you um, can pull yourself away with all the mayhem that is next week, that you can join me here at one o'clock next Friday as we talk about Endogize. This will support our endocrine system, right? I mean, it's it's in the name Femigen. You're probably thinking it's for feminine something or other. Um, it supports, yeah, the healthy libido, right? Ladies, if that's a struggle for you, certain ages is it starts to wane, it shouldn't. Um, God made us to be very productive and enjoy what he created long into our older years, right? So it will support that. It also supports um, our energy levels and, and reduces stress that is caused by maybe our outside environment. It'll support our emotions and potential mood swings. So again, as I mentioned with Clary Sage, this is one of those, um, this is a supplement now that will help with those PMS, perimenopausal symptoms, targeting to um, your emotions, right? And also your other levels. Uh, let's see, I have all my notes. I'm like, what should I share here? Okay, this also, this is really cool because I experience this kind of often. Um, this will support our hormone-related appetite. Did I say that right? Healthy hormone-related appetite. Meaning it keeps weight gain at bay. You know, during certain seasons in our life or times in the month, sometimes we tend to have a little bit of puffiness. Maybe we gain a little bit of weight. Um, that could be caused just by retaining water. It can be caused because you overindulge and or both. So this will help either A, keep you from munching when you don't really need to, but then also keep that swelling and water retention at bay and any kind of puffiness that's unneeded. It's pretty much the, a well-rounded supplement. It also support, I forgot to mention, but it does support your metabolism, a healthy, strong metabolism. So if that's something, especially um, as you get older, you know, here's the thing. I love to debunk the... Um, well, that is that no, that happens when you get older. Whatever that that is, I, I'm like no, because I'm I'm created in God's image. My body should be like Moses, like literally just stepping on into heaven, right? Because your eyes shouldn't grow dim, and our bodies should not gain weight. It's not how He designed us. And so, as you get older and your metabolism slows down, so there's also plants and supplements, oils, teas, tinctures frequency, whatever things that we can tap into to keep us looking healthy and strong and vibrant and keep our vitality up here instead of being like, wah, 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 I'm in my whatever age and there I am. Okay. So this is one of those supplements that if your metabolism, if you're like, oh, wow, it's slowing down. That's not normal. Just say, that's not normal. Just with me, everyone. It's not normal for our metabolism to slow down. That's silly. If that's you, then maybe just a little bit of outside help. This isn't an ongoing supplement, by the way, just so you're aware. You can play around with it, the, the amount, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, and it's also, as a side note, this is a great alternative for estrogen therapy. If you or you know someone who has needed that, then this might be something that they'd want to look at, okay? One of the things that I want to camp on now, and... Um, I thought, shoot, I'm talking about a supplement, but now I want to talk about this mother of all antioxidants. In Femigen, there is um, an ingredient, a um, constituent, L-cysteine, and it's an amino acid, and it's a building block for glutathione, which is the mother of all antioxidants. Now, if you want to just do a quick search in this group on glutathione, I have written scores about it um, because it is such an incredible, incredible uh, hormone that our bodies actually produce, but sometimes because of toxins and poor food choices, environmental stressors, whatever, we don't produce as much as we should. The simple fix for that 
is you can take about eight drops of orange oil, apply it to your liver in the in the evening. You can do it morning and night, but I like to do it in the evening, um, and that will keep you on point. Now, I discovered this when my husband and I went to Ecuador, I wanna say in 2017, so five years ago, we had glutathione treatments at the clinic there. Since then, I've seen a lot of glutathione supplements. Um, I'm real weary or wary, wary about taking those because I don't really know the company and I need to do a lot of research. For me, I have found the best thing is to, after my treatment, is to eat foods that help healthy production of glutathione. I have a write-up in that, um, so definitely check that out. And then to use the orange oil that will help that. This is so key too for kids. If you have children between the ages of 13 and like 20, really be mindful of what they're eating, what kind of subs they're taking so that they can their the glutathione can be in, um, in production. So what is glutathione? Here's the deal. Okay, like I said, it's the mother of all antioxidants. I had to write my notes, otherwise I just keep me, you know, I'm already at 16 right here. All right, so it is pre um, it prevents aging. Remember, I said we don't have to be like squinty eyes, wrinkly faces, hobbling over. Glutathione can help do that because it, it it's the, the mac daddy of antioxidants. Heart disease is at bay. Autism to Alzheimer's, anything brain related, glutathione will help that. Um, there are more than 89,000 articles written on this master detoxifier, and it's been considered the maestro of the immune system. I would highly recommend take the weekend and study glutathione. There are scores and scores of articles, as, as I just said, and unless you're a massive speed reader, which some of you are, you might get through half, right? But even just a couple of them will help you understand and really grasp how important this, um, this yeah, hormone is. Um, back to Femigen, it's one that you can take, you're meant to take it twice in the morning, two caps, not twice, you need two caps in the morning, two caps before lunch or with lunch, with breakfast and lunch. Um, but some people find just taking it one, like one in the morning, um, maybe not even taking it every single day, just sort of an as needed basis. We've talked about that before with other supplements, tinctures and things like that. So really you be your own, um, just your own guide. You know your body best. And you don't have to take this in order to increase your glutathione production, as I mentioned. I just wanted to tap on that so that you are aware what L-cysteine is and what is so important about why it's in Femigen. You can kind of connect the dots yourself, right? So I highly recommend you doing a little research on that. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's Femigen um, Clary Sage and Believe Breakdown. And next week, as I said, we'll be talking about Endogize, and I honestly don't remember off the top of my head what the other two products are. But thanks for joining me on 3 and 15 this week. We'll see you next time.